America's contribution to the plastic trash crisis in the world's oceans is up to five times worse than previously thought. The study was a sequel to 2015 research, which had given a rough estimate of the waste contribution by the U.S. The new study has now revealed that Americans contributed between 1.1 and 2.2 million metric tons of plastic to the oceans in 2016. This is five times more than the lowest estimates of 2015. The study has revealed that Americans are using more plastic than ever before, and the data included American waste exports that are not accounted for in their previous studies. About 88% of the country's waste exports goes to countries with poor recycling infrastructure. Recent developments have shown that much of the plastic waste that is exported does not go through recycling systems and ends up in the oceans. You probably know that the food you eat and the water you drink contain microplastics, but do you know how much? New research from the Worldwide Fund for Nature and the University of Newcastle, Australia, suggests that humans consume roughly 2,000 pieces of microplastics, or 5 grams of plastic, a week. This is equivalent to eating a credit card a week. Microplastic particles are less than 5 millimeters in length and are approximately the size of a sesame seed. The study found that the number increases to 21 grams of plastic pieces a month, which is equivalent to the weight of a hanger or the amount of microplastics needed to fill half a rice bowl. Every six months, we consume 125 grams of plastic, which is enough plastic to fill an entire cereal bowl. According to the study, this turns into roughly 250 grams of microplastics in a year, or a dinner plate full of plastic. The study found that we consume approximately 20 kilograms of microplastics in our lifetime, or roughly the weight of two mobile recycling bins, according to Reuters. The study notes that the largest source of plastic ingestion around the world is through water consumption, either groundwater, surface water, tap water, or bottled water. The study also estimates that a small number of microplastics may enter the body through inhalation. Researchers mentioned that the long-term effect of microplastics on our health is unclear and that additional studies are still needed to understand the effect of plastic on human health. Plastic pollution is a global problem that is causing an environmental disaster in the world's oceans, and scientists have now found that the Mediterranean Sea is also filling up with plastic at a very high rate. Scientists have previously documented how the Pacific and other oceans are filling up with plastic trash that cover the sea floor or drift on the surface to form floating trash dumps the size of countries. One of these floating trash dumps is called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, and it's three times the size of France. According to Reuters, scientists are now studying where all this ocean-destroying trash comes from and have found that most of it comes from rivers in Indonesia, China, the Philippines, Vietnam, and Thailand. A recent study published by the International Union for Conservation of Nature has now also raised the alarm in the Mediterranean Sea. The study found that around 230,000 tons of plastic trash is dumped in the sea per year, and this number is expected to double by 2040 if ambitious steps are not taken soon. The study found that the nations most guilty of dumping plastic in the Mediterranean are Italy, Turkey, and Egypt. However, on a per capita basis, it is the individuals of Montenegro, Albania, Bosnia-Herzegovina, and North Macedonia who throw the most trash in nature. The solution for this problem is a very elusive goal, and different people have different ideas of how to solve this problem. In the end, it seems obvious that nations and individuals need to educate themselves to the point where they can understand how important it is to recycle plastic, and not to simply dump it in nature. A new study published in Current Biology determined BPA-free plastic products aren't necessarily safer. Twenty years ago, when the researchers conducted the experiment for the first time, BPA was found to give rise to chromosomally abnormal embryos in mice, leading the researchers to believe the same could be happening to humans. BPA was found to interfere with the endocrine system in the body, which regulates everything from fertility to brain development. In this new study, researchers used BPS, a bisphenol which is used to replace BPA, and found the mice in the study all began to develop reproductive problems even though they were kept in BPA-free cages, similar to their previous study. BPA was found to affect the developing brain, heart, lungs, as well as other organs in the body. The researchers are warning the public about the dangers of different types of plastics used in consumer products as they could ultimately affect the body. A researcher involved in the study said plastic containers should never be put into the microwave or dishwasher because this causes the chemicals in the container to leak out. New research from Newcastle University has found that a washing machine's delicate wash cycles release more microplastic fibers in comparison to other wash cycles. 
The scientists used a tergotometer to simulate a washing machine to test for different washing cycles, different water temperatures, and different water volumes using polyester clothing. They used a digital color imaging system called DigiEye Camera to accurately measure the amount of microplastics released from the wash. Citing the study, the Irish Times reports that a delicate wash cycle released approximately 1.4 million microplastics. This is 800,000 more plastic fibers than a standard wash. In comparison, the washing machine's standard washing cycle released around 600,000 fibers. Lead author of the study, Max Kelly, a PhD student at the University's School of Natural and Environmental Science, explained in a Newcastle University news release that even with a slower spin speed, the delicate wash cycle is able to pluck away extra fibers from clothing material due to its large water volume. According to the news release, these microplastics are so tiny that they are able to drain out of the washing machine and enter the oceans to harm the marine environment. Malaysia announced that it has returned 150 shipping containers filled with plastic waste to their country of origin after they were found to be contaminated and mixed in with other trash. According to the BBC, Malaysia has sent back 3,737 metric tons of plastic waste to a total of 13 countries including France, the United Kingdom, the United States, and Canada. France received 43 containers while the United Kingdom received 42 containers. The United States and Canada received 17 and 11 containers respectively. Malaysian authorities said they hope to send back another 110 containers by mid-2020. 60 of the containers are from the U.S., 15 from Canada, and 14 from Japan. CNN reports that Malaysia's environment minister, Yo Bi In, said the shipping companies and the countries that shipped out the containers will be responsible for the cost of the returns. Many countries export recyclable waste abroad as this reduces domestic landfill, helps them meet recycling targets, and is also inexpensive. In a Facebook post, Yo said that their government will ensure that Malaysia does not become the garbage dump of the world. Malaysia is not the only country in Southeast Asia facing this problem. According to the BBC, Indonesia and the Philippines have all sent back unwanted plastic waste to developed countries over the past year. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.